Hello students, welcome to Legacy IIS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about recently induced geo heritage sites and geo relics bill that has been proposed by the Ministry of Mines. So we are going to discuss in detail about what are the salient provisions or features of this bill, what is the need behind bringing up such bills and what are the criticisms that experts have portrayed against this particular bill. So first of all, to give you the brief context of the issue we are talking about, recently Ministry of Mines under the Government of India has asked for the comments and suggestions from the general public as well as the expert in this particular domain to be sent in for the draft Geo Heritage Sites and Geo Relics Preservation and Maintenance Bill. We talk about this particular bill, it basically focuses and aims to provide for the declaration, preservation, protection as well as the management of Geo Heritage Sites and Geo Relics which are of national importance across 13 different states of India. Not only that, it also caters to the geological studies, education, research and awareness program associated with these particular geo heritage sites. And also, if we talk about now the geo heritage sites and geo relics, so the major nodal organization that is responsible for maintenance, preservation and protection of these sites is the Geological Survey of India. Currently, Geological Survey of India is an institute which is working under the administrative control of Ministry of Mines and it was actually first of all installed or we can say it was uh, first of all in 1851 when the British government established this particular institute mainly for the purpose of investigation and carrying out assessment surveys to find out where in the India we have coal and other mineral resources that are located so that British can extract these resources and can use it for their own private uh, for their own profit. Not only that, in recent times, Geological Survey of India has also been given the responsibility to declare geo heritage sites or national geological monument for the protection and maintenance of such sites. And once it declares any site a geo heritage site or national geological monument, then it works in collaboration with the respective state government to make sure that necessary steps, necessary measures are taken to protect this site from any kind of damage, whether it is a natural damage or the man made, human related damage. So, obviously, the first question that comes into our mind is what are geo heritage sites basically? So, if you read the bills, in the bill, it has been clearly defined that any such sites in India which contains such geo relics as well as such phenomena which are of a stratigraphic type, geological structures and geomorphic landforms that can include landforms such as caves, natural rock sculptures of national and international incline in interest and also such portion of the land that is adjoining or nearby the site and which may be required for the conservation or where we may require to carry out conservation and other such protective measures to access for such sites or to access to such sites. So such sites can be classified as geo heritage site. The other term that has been used in the bill is the geo heritage relics. So what are geo heritage relics? This also has been defined clearly in the bill where it says that any relic, relic means any monument from the past, any structure from the past or material which is of huge geological significance or interest and these can be materials such as old sediments, rocks, minerals, meteorite or even the fossils. For example, in the desert regions, in the uh, uh, salty regions, mar salty marsy region of the Ranamkach region, we can also find fossils of the ancient animals such as dinosaurs. So any such fossil can also be considered as a geo heritage relic. So about geo heritage relics, the bill also clearly establishes that as far as the geo heritage relics are concerned, it is authority and the full responsibility of Geological Survey of India and thus it will be given the necessary power to acquire such geo relics so that it can ensure its preservation and maintenance. If we take a look across India of the major national geo heritage monument geological heritage sites, we can see they are distributed largely across 13 states and total 32 number of such national geo heritage monument has been classified by GSI as of now. The most interesting of them can be Lonar Lake in Maharashtra which is the only such lake in India which has been carved due to meteoritic impact in the basaltic rock and after the basaltic after the carving out of the depression due to meteoritic impact later on this area has been filled up by water and there is a large number of different kind of microorganisms that survive and live in this area which is very very unique to this particular region alone similarly apart from that 
fossil woods park that we have or we have marine gondwana fossil park here also we have the fossils of the ancient animals of thousands and thousands year old fossil are there that has been clearly preserved then columnar basalt is there that is example of basaltic eruption that has happened around 66 million years ago in the history or geological history of india so these are some of the most notable geological monument that has been classified as per the gsi and the bill aims to make sure that these monuments are totally protected and preserved so the question comes that what or why suddenly there is a need of such bill and why mineral uh, ministry of mines has given uh, voice or given uh, or have expressed their concern over enumeration of such bill so first of all as you can see that as far as the protection and conservation of geological heritage monuments are concerned currently we do not have any pan india legislation in the country and that is why this is the first requirement of the bill Second, we can also say that large area, large part of the geological heritage or geological monuments are threatening the destruction, not only the destruction due to the natural reasons, but also the destruction that has been caused by the man-made reasons due to the increase in the population pressure as well as changing socio-economic characteristics of the Indian society. And it is due to these reasons, a mineral of mines and especially geological survey of india has said that there is an additional requirement there is a requirement of additional measures for preservation of such site and the passage of the bill will be a right step in that particular direction now let us take a look at the major provisions that this bill enumerates so first of all it authorizes the central government to declare any geoheritage site to be of national importance and once the central government declares any geoheritage site to be of national importance then the central government will have full power to exercise its authority under the ambit of right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement act 2013 and thus it can acquire the land area around the geoheritage site to be used for the government purposes and in that case if any individual person, private person is losing the land or is incurring certain kind of losses due to this acquisition then they will be fully compensated again as per this particular act of 2013 and the market price of the land that has been acquired by them acquired from them by the government will also be determined as per the rules and regulations laid out in this particular land acquisition rehabilitation and resettlement act then apart from that few other important provisions are there that once any area or the nearby site is declared as a site of national importance there will be complete prohibition on construction, reconstruction, repair, renovation of any building within the entire geoheritage site areas. And if any individual or group of individuals are found to be violating these norms, violating these uh, prohibitory laws, then they will also be imposed with penalties which can be for the destruction, removal, defacement or contravention of any direction that has been issued by the DG, that is Director General of Geological Survey of India in the context of that particular geoheritage site. If you talk about the quantum of punishment, so the bill states that imprisonment can extend for the six months and it can also become, it can also be, uh, there can also be a provision of fine which may extend to rupees 5 lakh or both. And if any person is a repeat offender, then in that case for every repeat offense, 50,000 extra penalty can be imposed on that particular individual. So this is all about the penalty that has been talked about in the bill. However, bill is not free from criticism. Some notable person have said that they are very much concerned about the distribution of power that has been enumerated in the bill because many eminent personalities including archaeologists and many geologists believe that the geological study of India will be given sweeping power as far as the protection, conservation and management of the National Geoheritage Monument is concerned if the bill is passed in the current form. And not only that, the main issue that can actually cause problem in the execution of the provisions of this bill is the obviously issue of land acquisition because we have seen from numerous places in India whenever a government try to acquire some land there is always a dispute between the villagers between the people who have the honor of the land and they are not able to agree upon the fair amount of compensation that they need to be given so this is something that we also have to be very much worried about and taking these into consideration we should think that what is the Re, uh, what is the good way forward as far as the uh, as far as the protection of the geological heritage sites are concerned and also we have to make sure that the stakes of the people stakes of the stakeholder that are involved in around the geological heritage site that is also maintained and people common people also are not do not face any kind of problem 
So that is all about this particular video. I hope you understood about this particular issue. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it to your friends, as well as subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you very much.